Our mission is to engage, equip, and empower all students each day and to accomplish our purpose, learning. Typically, most learning takes place in the classroom. However, the landscape and expectations have been changing in recent years, forcing traditional schools to rethink educating children. With the onset of COVID-19, we have been abruptly thrust into learning spaces that look differently, making us develop new and unique plans quickly. In this video, staff will share information about how we are working toward our mission to serve all students. We introduced DCS Virtual on July 2nd, 2020, and Davie County Schools was proud to take the initiative and offer options to fit the needs of every student and family. With the application process, we wanted to make sure that this was the best option for the success of each student. However, with the governor's directive on July 14th that all school districts must offer a virtual option, DCS determined all students would need to be accepted. After the July 19th deadline, we reopened the application form on July 23rd and extended the deadline to July 28th to make sure we were including all families who wanted to take advantage of this option. Although extended once, it was important to have a final deadline for planning purposes. The extended deadline introduced additional challenges for planning, but we felt it was important in order to accommodate families who were interested but missed the first deadline. July 28th was the final date for families to confirm their places in DCS Virtual. This deadline was put in place to help us plan for staffing, with school beginning in less than three weeks. In Davie County, DCS Virtual is not a separate school with a separate school number. Instead, students are assigned to their home school and are duly enrolled in virtual classes. Each DCS Virtual teacher teaches students from various schools across the county. With the complexity of staff and class rosters, both students and staff were asked to make a one-year commitment to DCS Virtual, after which we can reassess and reorganize to meet our community's needs and preferences again. Because each student is still enrolled in their home school, students' test scores and attendance will be included in their school's data and North Carolina report card. They'll be included in their home, home school's yearbook and will probably return there in future years. There are students of all types enrolled in DCS Virtual, including EC students, EL students, and AIG students. Students with an IEP are served in different ways across each setting. Within DCS Virtual, there is one speech therapist, one elementary teacher, and one high school teacher that serves across all settings. Across the district, EC teachers are serving both in the building and virtual academy students in all areas of the continuum. Students who are learning English as a second language are being served by the EL staff at the student's home school with a focus on supporting students and their core content. EL teachers and support staff are able to provide support in contacting parents and providing instructional support to the EL students. LIEPs are being written and updated to include goals to assist with virtual learning. Fourth grade AIG candidates and fifth grade AIG students are being served by the AIG certified teachers with liaison support from Ms. Laura Martin at Pinebrook Elementary. Middle school students are being served by the teachers of advanced classes with support from middle school AIG specialists. Enrichment and student extension activities and resources are being provided from NCDPI for teacher use. Support paperwork is still being maintained by the students assigned homeschool. Because we do not have a separate support staff for DCS Virtual, it is essential that the students receive resources and services from the staff in our school buildings where they are enrolled. These could be academic interventions, media resources, social and emotional learning, behavior supports, weekly food bags, and all the many other valuable resources and services we provide to our students in a traditional school setting. We hope this video has helped to provide a comprehensive look at Davie County Schools Virtual from an initial concept to the successfully run classrooms. You've heard me say this before, all of this doesn't just happen and we are fortunate to have one another. Schools look different but our why remains the same and that's children.